these with these guys? Well, it's been great. I think, uh, you know, I think they're excited. Like I told the guys, uh, all y'all, a couple days ago, uh, there's some opportunities to be had here. So, uh, you know, I think they're excited. There's some guys that you know have a chance to make it, and uh, even the ones that that don't go, uh, you know, with the parent club will. You know, you know how things work. They'll still get used, and there'll be some pitchers uh, come up and down. So it should be a it should be a fun year for them. Some guys can play this game at a high level and not communicate with them. You can. Why is that? Well, I don't know. I think you know. I think I was one of them a long time ago, and uh, you know the. I think I was. Um, I kept my mouth shut and learned from the guys I needed to watch and learn from, and then I asked the questions when uh, I had a question to. You know, like somebody like we talked about, uh, you know, some of the, the great pitchers of, of old. So when you were in that age and a guy walked in with Messiah Cy Young's on his belt, you would listen to him. Well, it was before. <clears throat> you know, I'm talking 84, 85. You know, I get, even after I got my first Cy Young, I mean, I had a couple of good uh, hitter-pitcher talks with the likes of Ted Williams and Johnny Pesky and, you know, some great ones floating around. And then, you know, you'd have a spring training game against the Yankees and some of their greats would show up and uh, you would just kind of listen in to what they had to say so you learn a lot. Rogers anyone jumped out at you today this or last few days you've worked with if you've been able to get a, a read on? Uh, yeah I mean like I said I'm not a, a, you know they've had me watch guys in the past and it's something that you know I don't need they don't need my fingerprints on them they're really good uh, they might need a little uh, little adjustment here or there, but real small things, and uh, if any, and uh, and then their mindset needs to be right going into this, and that you know being average is not okay. Uh, that you know it's you know it's time to go, and uh, they can do it just like anybody else. Like I, I, I told you guys the other day, I hope there's a 20 game winner in there. Uh, I hope we have a an everyday player that you know has a chance to get on that MVP b b ballot. That means everybody's doing good. So. It's good seeing Morgan and Adam here too. They can help. They're great defensively, and and uh, we had some fun together out there, uh, you know, doing our thing in Houston too. So it's it's been fun. Could Is you ever see yourself uh, taking them? You know, you, this this role keeps increasing. Coaching, uh, managing one day, or is, is that not, not really your world? Not right now. Yeah. I don't see that. You know, like I said, I'm in a spot kind of where I was when I I tried to retire the first time. Yeah. Uh, you know, I had Kobe in high school, and my second one, Corey, was there. Now I've got Casey and Cody, so, um, you know, I'm with Dad, when are you coming home? I've already gotten those calls. You know, we see where you're helping those guys. Can you get here so you can watch us? So, uh, you know, that's something that I that uh, I love doing. Obviously, I think, uh, like no, you know, like any other dad, I mean, you guys are away from your families down here covering us, and, um, you know, I lost my dad when I was nine, so, you know, I, I, I know what that's like. But, you know, I had to. My mom did a great job raising me and my grandmother too. So, uh, you know, I was fortunate in that area that I had strong-willed, uh, strong-willed willed, uh, mother and grandmother, you know, helping me out. So, but you, you obviously you're out here for a reason too, and it's to help and give back. But is it good to, to kind of get out here with these guys, Bo, the energy, baseball, with some of the stuff, you know, you've had to deal with the last couple of years to where like yeah. this this feels like where you belong. Well. Uh, I mean, I, I, I feel like I belong on the golf course. Really. <laughs> no, no I'm, I'm terrible right now. I shouldn't even say that. I'm, I'm, I'm not very good. I need to practice. Uh, no, and, um, you know, like I told you, I like teaching and, and, and instead of coaching. And they have some very, very good coaches here. I enjoy listening in on their meetings. Um, they do have to teach a little more because it's a young team. So... Um, but I really like the teaching part of it. I tell them and what I see and what I do, and if they want to put it into their program and get better, go for it. And uh, it's, you know, again, it's their career, and that's what I tell them. It's their career. Uh, I tell them anybody can do it for a couple years. You've got to have staying power here. You have to make adjustments. Um, there are a few veteran hitters here, and, and uh, the pitchers that have a few years under the belt, it's time for them to take a giant leap you know, forward. It's, it's, it's that time. So, so is how, it, how special is it for you, Roger, this organization's embraced you? You're back there, you've got this union on. Yeah. How special is it for well, you? Well, they, they've always had, they always embraced me, Mark. They, um, you know, I've been doing the same things. I was always there throwing batting practice at the different levels that I was at. And, you know, I was there to obviously watch my son work, too. So when I had the opportunity to watch him work, uh, um, some of these kids are here now. Some of them are gone. Uh, you know, they would ask pointed questions to me in those, whether it been, you know, Corpus, Lancaster, um, you know, Lexington, wherever I was at. So, um, you know, it's been it's been going on for a long time. What have you thought of Bo Porter in the future that 
short time you've been here? Uh, very detailed and uh, great energy. And um, uh, delegates uh, what he wants to see accomplished to his coaches. And that's all you can ask for. He's, uh, he's getting to know his personnel. And then as the game starts, you really find out about, uh, about your, your guys and what you really have and what you don't have. So um, I, just, I just like his energy and I like his uh, attention to detail. What are some things you can offer to a guy like Bud Norris who's at the front of this rotation? You've been at the front of the rotations. What can you tell him? What, what are some things he needs to know and do when you're, when you're the lead guy? Well, that's it. He just has to lead and, and continue to get better. And, uh, if, and, and and stay healthy. If he stays healthy, he has a fantastic fastball and slider, which he can work to both sides of the plates. Um, you work on your mechanics down here, so you're sound when that bell rings, what, on March 31st, I believe, the Rangers coming in. So uh, And it's going to get here quick, so they need to understand that the work that they're doing has to be quality right now. You don't really necessarily need quantity unless you're working on something, but it's got to be quality, and it's got to be focused. And uh, So... When you, when you, I think when you pass that along, they see that there's a little urgency to it. Basically, baseball's been up. Go ahead. Yeah. Do you notice the, diff- the reaction some of these guys had to you? I noticed yesterday Lowe came off and he went over and talked. I'm not even sure how much he understood of it, but when he turned around, he was smiling like ear to ear. Yeah, great. Like, yeah. Well, that's great. I mean, again, I, I tell the story that when I was in high school, I mean, it made a fantastic impression on me. I think there was a work stoppage. It was 79 or 80, if I'm, if I'm right. And I had uh, Art Howe, Vern Rule, and Terry Poole. And I think Cruzy was there, too. There was three of them there working out at Spring Woods. And uh, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And they actually stopped and talked to me for about 30 minutes. And uh, it, it, it made, uh, as a defensive end and an OK pitcher, I was a strike thrower. I didn't throw hard. Um, uh, it made a great impression on me. It seems like being you know, spring training in the baseball, uh, is this, could you ever see yourself not doing this though? I mean, the baseball has been a part of your life for so long now when you start to look back. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'll help the kids when they ask. It's, I mean, this is what I, it's what I did, it's not who I am. I mean, I love doing stuff in the community and like I said, being a dad, right, you know, I, I, I do the video at the games. I'm not doing it for me, I'm doing it for the boys. They, they enjoy uh, the way the, the, the technical part of the game is and, uh, you know, computer age and everything else. Uh, they love to come home and watch the video of themselves, and uh, so I enjoy doing that too. But you know, I love—I've met more interesting people through the game of golf than I ever have baseball. I mean, spending time on the golf course and getting business deals done and stuff, helping my foundation, and uh, so I always do that. I, you know, again, that's something that uh, my mother asked me to do. I promised her I would continue to uh, give back. She thinks that when you give back, and and I've watched it, you 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 receive a lot of blessings. Uh, back yourself and uh, so that's the way we go about it.